Hi everybody, so we're on to moments now, so it's going to take us about two lessons to do. So let's have a look. So you've done moments before in school, so a lot of this should be quite easy. The idea of that if one person sits at the end of the uh, seesaw, they can balance two people sitting further in. And also the idea that it's easier to push the door from where the handle is than it is more towards where the hinge is. So the idea for us is that we have a product of the force and the perpendicular distance. So if you look, I'm spinning this about P, I've got a force and I've got a perpendicular distance. Just so you know, look, see which way that's going to spin it. It's going to spin it clockwise now. So the force will be force times by perpendicular distance. So then it mentions the fact that the force is in newtons, the distance is in meters, so my moments of the unit is newton meters. Right, so let's have a look at this then. So it just wants the kind of like the sum of the moments. It's not in equilibrium, this is actually spinning. So let's have a think about pinning it at P. So the three newton one will try and spin it anti-clockwise. The four newton one will also try and spin it anti-clockwise. But the five newton one will try and spin it clockwise. All these forces are at right angles, aren't they? To, to, a, to like a distance, a line we can do to join to the point. So I'm kind of okay with it. So let's look at let's look at clockwise then. So the force is five newtons, and the distance away from the point that I'm spinning it is three meters. So that would be 15 newton meters. So let's look at anti-clockwise now. So if I look at the free newton one, it's only one meter away from the spinning point. But then also, if I look at the four newton one, that's the same, it's also one, newton, one meter away. So that gives us seven newton meters. Now this one's the sum. So I've got a choice. I can see what it acts clockwise or see how it acts anti-clockwise. So if I do 15 take away 7, so 15 clockwise take away 7 anti-clockwise, it's going to give me uh, 8 newton meters acting clockwise. I could have done it the other way around if I'd wanted to. So I could have said it was minus 8 newton meters acting anti-clockwise if I'd wanted to. So there's one for you, a similar idea. So I'm pinning it at P. That one's going anti-clockwise. Yeah, that one's going clockwise. That one's going anti-clockwise. That's going clockwise. That's going anti-clockwise. The completed pack does similar to me. You. But it kind of lists them all and then it kind of doesn't make it completely obvious where it's coming from because you've got you've got these two here which are anti-clockwise so that will give you 10 anti-clockwise and these two here going clockwise which would be three clockwise so if you look what they've done because the anti-clockwise is bigger they've said that the sum is seven newton meters anti-clockwise you could have said minus 7 newton meter clockwise if you wanted to. Right. I'm just going to stop it there and I'll start another video.